Hello, and welcome to Cast Highlight Foundation Certification Section 4 Application Analysis. This section is all about how to analyze the source code and complete surveys for applications. It's designed for application contributors, domain contributors, and application owners. As a quick reminder, Cast Highlight acts as a control tower for your application portfolio, providing automated insights, specifically around areas such as software health, resiliency, agility, and technical debt, cloud readiness for roadmaps, blockers, effort estimates, and recommending cloud native services, software composition analysis or open source vulnerabilities and IP licensing risks, as well as generation and reading of software bill of materials, and finally, green impact, including code deficiencies, remediation advice, and trends. It analyzes thousands of applications in a week. It combines both source code analysis and surveys for business context. And all scanning happens locally, meaning the source code never leaves the premises. The process for implementing Cast Highlight is pretty straightforward, and it entails three steps. First, you simply point Cast Highlight at code repositories for automated scanning and rapid analysis of source code. It can be updated continuously and automatically, and then surveys are completed for each application to answer a few questions and add some context. Step two, the encrypted statistical results are uploaded to the secure cloud. Again, no code ever leaves the premises. And then step three is visibility is provided with automatically generated and customizable dashboards. Data can also be integrated with other systems via the Cast Highlight API. Okay, so let's get into step four, application analysis. As a quick reminder, when a campaign is configured, as we learned about in section three, the application contributors or domain contributors that are contributing information about applications or analyzing the application source code are gonna receive an invitation email like the one pictured here. The contributor will simply click on the link to access the campaign. After clicking on the link in the invitation email, the contributor simply needs to log into Cast Highlight. They will be then directed to the application's scan page automatically. In this campaign, as you can see, there's two applications that have been designated to be analyzed. If you recall, there's an option to have source code scanning only in a campaign for an application, surveys only for an application in a campaign, or both. In this campaign example, as you can see, we have both source code analysis and surveys being designated for requirements in this analysis. We're going to start by answering the survey questions for the first application. We click on the survey button, and then we proceed to complete the survey answers for this application. The first survey here is the business impact survey. We're gonna go ahead and fill this out quite quickly because there's a few surveys here that are pretty self-explanatory in terms of the information that the contributor should be providing. After completing the answers to a particular survey, you can go ahead and save your answers by clicking on the Save Your Answers button. We'll see now that that survey is listed as complete and the next survey uh, is presented to the current user. Now, a quick note, Users can save their answers at any point if they haven't completed all of the questions, but all of the questions will need to be answered in order for the survey to be submitted. Once all of the individual surveys for an application are completed, the user will be redirected back to the application scans screen. Now, it's also important to note that survey answers can be updated in future campaigns. The questions will be pre-filled with the last answers that were provided, so they can be updated at any point in time. After completing the surveys, it's now time to analyze the application source code. Cast Highlight offers several options for analyzing code, such as a local agent that's installed in a local machine, a command line interface, which is often used for automation, and then various other extensions for popular repositories, such as out-of-the-box extensions for Bitbucket and GitHub Actions support. These are all covered in more detail 
in the product documentation website. For purposes of this certification program, we're going to use the local agent. We can initiate that by clicking on Download Agent here in the Application Scan screen. This will launch a download process where we can install the agent locally. After selecting a few options, identifying the install location and other options, the local agent is being installed on this local machine. Once the installation process is complete, we'll leave the launch cast highlight agent checkbox checked and go ahead and launch it. In the future, I indicated during the options during setup to create a desktop icon so I could simply launch the agent from my desktop by double clicking on that icon. We're now launching the cast highlight local agent for analyzing the source code of application. The first thing we need to do is select the location of the files of the source code for the application. You can do that by clicking on this folder icon here. And I can select the root folder where all of the files, source code files, and other artifacts for this particular application that I'm analyzing live on this local machine. Now for distributed applications, multiple folders can be selected. Simply click on this icon again and you can select as many folders as necessary to identify the locations for all of the different files associated with this application. In this case, we have all of the files in this directory structure, so we're only gonna have one selection here. Then we click the Discover Files button. This process takes a few moments. After the discovery process concludes, the local agent identifies the different technologies that have been discovered. For this application, it's discovered some Lua code, some c -sharp code, and some Corn Shell code. We can expand this folder structure to see within the folder hierarchy where the different files for each of these technologies are located and have been discovered. This gives the user the option to deselect certain folders using this filter button here to remove or suppress certain folders and files from the source code analysis. In some cases, this may be necessary to remove things like test code or automatically generated code if it's desired to not include that particular code in the source code analysis of this application. For purposes of this demonstration, we're going to leave all of the folders selected. The next step is to click Scan Files. Now the local agent is going to go and scan through all of those files comprising the source code files for this application. This process can take anywhere from a couple of minutes to uh, almost an hour depending on the size of the application and the number of lines of code. Most medium-sized applications will complete this process in just a few minutes. After the scanning process concludes, we now click on the Confirm Result button. On this screen, we see that the local agent has identified a series of frameworks that were automatically detected in the application. We can go ahead and turn on and off any of these if we want to include them or keep them as part of the analysis result. Then we go ahead and click Confirm Dependencies and we'll get a summary of the scan results. Basically, we'll see the different technologies that were discovered, the number of files that were analyzed associated from each of those technologies, and any excluded files from the analysis. Finally, we're gonna click the Save button to save the results file. Select a location to save that file. And now that file is going to be saved. The results file will be wherever you selected to save that file. We can go ahead and open that folder and actually view the file. The file that Cast Highlights Local Agent creates is this zip file here with highlight results, the date, and the .zip extension. In fact, we can go ahead and open that file and we could look at some of the results contents. As you can see, it's producing a series of flat text CSV files. So I could simply view the contents of the file by right clicking on it and clicking view. And I'll see that this is just a text file with statistical results. Again, no source code is included in this results file. Now that I'm satisfied with my results file, 
I'm going to upload it back to the application scan screen in Cast Highlight. Back on the application scan screen, I'm going to locate the application that I just analyzed, and I'm going to click on the Upload Results button. Here, I can go ahead and click on this window in the middle and select the file that I just saved to my local environment. Again, I'm selecting that zip file, the highlight results. I don't need to extract it or anything else. I simply upload the zip file itself. Cast Highlight will then process all of those results automatically. I'll see that all of the different files that make up this results of this application analysis have been completed. I can close this. Now back on the application scan screen, I see I have my uploaded results indicated by the three the three technologies that were discovered. I've completed five out of five surveys that have been identified for this application, and I can go ahead and submit my results. Cast Highlight will then process those results and close that application analysis. Within a few moments, if I go back to the Cast Highlight homepage or search for this application in Cast Highlight, I should be able to see the results of this application. And now you can see indicated here that the processing has been complete. I will perform that same exact process for this second application submitted, and then at that point, this campaign will be complete. So just to summarize, when an application owner, or contributor, or domain contributor is invited to contribute to an application as part of an analysis campaign, they'll receive an email. They click on it, they'll come to the application scan screen, they can fill the survey questions out right here within the user interface of Cast Highlight, they can then download the local agent, install it, run it, point it at their source code and analyze the files associated with the application and then upload the results and submit. After that, the application results are available to view inside of all of the Cast Highlight reporting and dashboards. Cast Highlight Code Reader. This is a locally installed application used for analyzing the source code files of an application before uploading the results into the Cast Highlight SAS portal for further analysis. After downloading and installing the code reader installation files and installing it and then launching the code reader locally, you'll be presented with this main screen. From this screen, you can click in the upper right to see the current version of the code reader you're using. And to start the process, you click on the Add Folders button. This launches a pop-up that allows you to select the specific folders that you want to analyze where your source code files are located. You could add as many folders as you choose. Clicking on the Advanced Setting button brings up advanced settings, such as filtering on specific technologies or programming languages. You could also exclude specific items, such as directories, by simply typing their names, files, specific paths. And then at the bottom, there's miscellaneous options that were formerly only available in our command line interface, but they're now available in this graphical user interface in the code reader. On the right, you could turn on the option to upload the scan results automatically after completing the scan. You'll just need to enter all of the required information, such as server URL, company identifier, etc. If you don't have this information, contact your portfolio manager. Then save your settings and launch your scan. The Cast Highlight code reader will then go ahead and scan through the folders and subfolders indicated on the previous screen. After the scan completes, you're presented with a summary. It lists the technologies detected, file extensions, number of files, etc. You can then go ahead and save these results. It will save a zip file locally to your machine where indicated. Back in the Cast Highlight campaign management screen, you select Upload Results, you select that zip file that the code reader generated, and upload it into that screen. This will then start processing the results and you can click Submit to complete the process of this campaign and the application scan process. Back in the code reader you have other options such as saving the logs for technical support if necessary. You have a link to read the more detailed tutorial. You can also save your cast highlight dot properties file for further use. That will save the scan properties that you set in this session. You could also initiate a rescan by simply clicking the rescan button. That concludes cast highlight certification section four 
Application Analysis. Thank you for watching.